Bear is how I started, bare on my feet. My feet were bare on the ground. As a little girl, I would pretend to be an Indian girl, an Indian medicine woman, you know, concocting um, some sort of medicine to help my pretend people around me, right? Under a mango tree, under an orange tree, and a lemon tree. I had such an imagination, and imagination is what we start off with, completely bare, but yet imaginative, and imagining all the possibilities that we have in our world. And I had those imaginations and dreams and aspirations, and as a little girl, there were three main things I wanted to become when I grew up. I said, I wanna be a model one day, and I would strike poses for that. And I wanna be a doctor one day, and I also wanna be a teacher to help people. Those were my dreams, and if we speed up Several years later, after high school, my dreams were kind of crushed because of fears, fears that were not mine, but I made mine. And um, well, I started a family, and those were good things. And I went to college, and I actually finished college after I started my family and bought a house. And, um, and that was a, actually a pivotal moment for me. That was a moment where I realized that I thought that the destination would be where happiness would start, and it wasn't. And I got to this point where I felt like, what the hell is going on? I thought, you know, where am I? Where am I exactly? And my first per, um, personal development um, opportunity came up at that moment. I actually I went to Landmark Forum. And then after that, while I was, or after I had uh, gave birth to my second son, I had a rude awakening. I got a call one day, it was like sirens, hearing the phone ringing, and the person on the other line was a very, very close friend of mine, and she said, Virginia, I've been sleeping with your partner. And that was a wake-up call for me. It was like, I thought life was a certain way the whole time, and really, it was all a lie. It was not what I thought it was, but a lot of it had to do with the fact that I wasn't being honest with myself. And I was no longer in Kansas anymore, like Dorothy says on The Wizard of Oz. And it was an internal war that took place. It was a battle within myself, within my heart and my logic. Who do I trust? Can I even trust myself? It was crazy. It just felt crazy. But at some point, I knew I had to take some sort of action. So about 2010, I decided, you know what? Let's do something different. Let's go on a limb. And my aunt and I, which she's in the picture here, we went skydiving, and I almost flaked out on her, and she said, no, you are gonna stop this cycle of fear right here, right now. You're gonna be that example for your children. And after that, a couple years later, I still felt like there was still something missing, and so I went to UPW, Tony Robbins, and that's when I had a really large breakthrough. I was in corporate America, and I said, oh my God, this is not what I want, what I'm doing here, financial analysis, it's not what I wanna be doing. I wanna connect with people, I wanna transform. And that's what I started doing, but from the outside. So on the outside, it looked like all these changes were happening. I was doing all sorts of things. I was going on stages now, I was in Toastmasters. I was like doing all sorts of different things that I was no, not doing before that I always wanted to do. And finally, I took a huge leap in 2015. I left my corporate job, it was a plunge. It was a huge plunge. And I saved up for it and everything, but uh, I did not know what was coming after that. That's when things got real. And that's when I had to get real with myself, because at that point, it was like, oh my God, I'm supposed to be superwoman. I'm supposed to know how to do it all, aren't I? And I had a hard time asking for help, and yet I'm saying I'm a coach. And so that's when I found my coach. I went to a networking event, and we met each other, and from there, it was transformative. It's over a year that we've been working together. Making that commitment to be with my coach was the biggest leap, actually, out of all the other leaps, because I was betting on myself. It was almost like going on to the top of the roller coaster and finally falling to the end. And that's where I had to assess really what the holdup was. It was my brain at times. It was not really working very well with my heart. And my brain was kind of like trying to tame my heart and it wouldn't work and vice versa sometimes. It was, night it was crazy sometimes. But with, my with the help of my coach, I was able to find healthy distinctions and really assess what I wanted more out of my life, which was love, connection, to be a part of um, community, to find romantic love in my life. And that's when I started to find that. Because remember, I had gone through a point where my ex you know, completely um, <laughs> cheated on me, right? And I was thinking there was something wrong with him. But in reality, I couldn't trust myself. So I started to learn to connect with people. And that was one of the biggest things. Not only that, but 
how to be more compassionate with myself and other humans. And so the whole experience from then to now was this humanizing experience coming back to the bare, to the bare basics of where I first came with my bare feet on the ground. And as I look back now and start connecting the dots, it was like, wow, this was one of the most transformative couple of years since I hired somebody to help me assess and embrace love, the possibility of opportunities to build a business and all that comes with that. And I invite all of you today that if you feel like you've been lost, to open up your heart to the possibility of creating prosperity, love, and abundance to live an extraordinary life. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you.